right. Thank you, Joe Rogan. Thank you, Joe Rogan. So here's my idea of those to those. And I, some of them are relatives who say that DeSantis wants to teach, don't say gay. Okay, so good. All right, fine. Let's say that what you are contending is accurate. I'm going to ask you, at what point during the first grade curriculum is it imperative that a child understand the necessary hygiene, which is essential to not getting fecal matter on genitalia during anal sex? Because if you're going to say gay, it's anal or oral. Or don't say gay. Just say friends, Ernie and Bert. Uh, little children do not need to differentiate human beings who enjoy sodomy <laughs> from those who attend to biblical dictates, which include the idea that sodomy is wrong. I have a right to conclude that. Is it a guilty pleasure? Absolutely, as is whiskey, marijuana, edibles, psilocybin cobensis, and even speeding on the highway or driving after five drinks. Yes, but you don't teach first graders that that is okay. It's fun, but it does not belong in the classroom. So what anyone, anyone suggests that DeSantis is arguing that no one say the word gay. He is not. Gay means happy. Happy is happy. Fine with me. Just keep the two boys away from each other in that classroom. We don't need to teach children about immoral sexual behavior. Is it immoral? Eh, who am I to say? It's a guilty pleasure, and let's just say guilty, as it is, and I'm fine with that. Do what you want when you're an adult, just like drinking whiskey. Do not teach children to drink whiskey in first grade or second grade or third grade or fourth grade or fifth grade or sixth grade or seventh grade or eighth grade or ninth grade or honors program. Honors program, we're talking people who are elevated and who have demonstrated a certain amount of responsibility.